We're going to keep learning how to use Cricut Design Space on our mobile devices. This video is going to focus on the action button. To delete something under actions, you'll just click the delete button. To make a copy, you can hit duplicate. It's basically copy and paste all in one. If I select both of these, I can group them. That means they're going to stay together, that same spacing. But now if I increase them, they stay together in relation to each other. If I want to ungroup them, I just hit that same button and now they're ungrouped. Slice allows you to remove one object from another. So if I had two hearts here and I select both of them, I can hit the slice button and you can see it cut the smaller heart out of the larger heart. You can only have two things selected for slice to work. So now let's look at combine. So combine is a newer button. It has weld, which we used to have that joins any two or more things that are touching or overlapping into one thing. So with this, if I wanted to take that and say weld, now they're combined into one big piece. The one thing to remember with weld is you can only do the undo if you haven't saved. Otherwise, weld is forever. If we use the new Unite, it does the same thing, the same end result as weld, but you can ununite. The next one is subtract. And I'm going to do that kind of similar to how we did slice. So if I select both of them and go subtract, you can see it has the same end result as slice, only you don't have all those extra pieces you have to move out. If I select both of these, and go to combine, intersect. It removed everything except for where those two circles were overlapping or intersected. If I go combine and exclude, it does the opposite. It removed where it was overlapping. The next feature I wanna show you is attach. Attach holds placement and position of things. So if I have this score line and I want it to be right there on this square, and I select both things and hit attach, that holds the placement and position. So now I can move this around, but also if I resize it, see how that score line still stays centered? This image is a cutting image. I can tell because if I go under the edit, the operation says basic cut. I can also look under layers and each one of those different layers says basic cut. And you can see each color is on its own layer. Okay, I am going to duplicate this so you can see two things side by side. If I select this one and hit flatten, you can see that the black outline went away and that would be showing where it's gonna cut. I really wanna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. On the left-hand side image, you see a black outline, but you also see a black line between the colors. That's showing you the cut line between the colored layers. 
over here on the right side, there's no black line there. So what this design is gonna do is print for my home printer and then cut around the outer edge of the design. And to verify that this is a print then cut, if I look under edit, I can see the operation says print then cut. I can also go to the layers and see that this design has been flattened and is now a print then cut. So flatten will turn any cut image into a print then cut image. This is perfect for making stickers. Now let's say I didn't want those little swirly designs in that gold piece. What I would first want to do is ungroup this design so that I can get to my individual layers. I then selected the gold by clicking over here on the gold. I could also go to the layers panel and just select it from here. I can now open up contour and turn off those inner cuts. Oh, that's all connected. See how that's all connected to there? Okay. So those are the only cuts I could do that with. Or maybe I just want to turn off those. There we go. That looks better. All right, so contour allows you to turn on and off different portions of the design. Here's another thing you can do with contour. If I have this dinosaur and I duplicate him a few times, I'm going to have this one and edit it. And I want that to be black. And I am going to... This is where I will use contour to go in and turn off all of those little inner cuts. And what I'm doing is making this black piece a solid piece because then I will be able to use this as the background and layer the other colors on top. So now I can take this one and let's make that one green and under actions we'll go contour and we'll turn off those so now you can see what i'm doing is making the green pieces yes i didn't get them all turned off but you can see how you can keep doing that to make the different layers. Or if I wanted to make these letters each a different color, I could do that. Not gonna lie, this takes a while. But if you have an image like this, you can make some really cool results. I like to call these images coloring book images because it started off as just an image that was black and white with an outline, much like a coloring book. And then I was able to go in and use contour well, actually a combination of duplicate and contour to then make colored layers. If I have some text in here, I could go under actions and click advanced and ungroup these so they're individual letters or because I did rows, I could ungroup them so they're individual lines. And then I could 
play around with them and rearrange them however I want. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.